lock up to your lock. Phone's in your pocket, app's running. Click the lock to wake it up. Talks to your phone, comes back, you're in. <laughs> Shut it, it locks, turns red, goes back to sleep, and you're done. Keeps a history on the app. So you can see when it was unlocked, where it was unlocked, who unlocked it. You can then go ahead and share it with your friends. You know, they need to get in for an hour or a day or whatnot. If you turn off the auto unlock in the app, so you don't have your phone, you need to get into your lock. You can do what's called a quick click. And it's basically Morse code. And so you can get into your lock without your phone as well. You know, you're going to the gym, running, whatever. So you log into your app, you got a list of all your locks here. You can then click on a lock to change its settings, change its name, you can set a picture for it, turn the auto unlock on and off, which basically means when the lock wakes up, will your phone unlock without you. Set the quick click code, which we talked about earlier, and then you can go and share it with your contacts. Like I can share with Cameron here, I can do custom or I can do permanent. I do custom, I can set day of the week, time, all that. I can save it, go back here now. I will not save that. You can also go by person if you need to share multiple locks here. You can then just go flip all your locks on and off. You can go through your history. You can see who unlocked your lock, where they unlocked it. You can hit a map here. If I had an internet connection, it would load. You can sort it by everything. You can just see per user, you know, what has Cameron done. You can just see it by locks. You go into your settings, log out, turn notifications on and off. Your buddy unlocks it, it will send you a notification. And then, of course, you can edit your account information as well. Okay, so if your battery's dead in your lock and you didn't change it earlier, you pop this bottom off, and there's two little contacts right down there. You just touch a coin cell to it, and it basically jump starts it like a car. It gives enough juice, you can now unlock it, and then once it's unlocked, you can flip the battery out, and you're good to go.